In this video, we are going to compute the confidence interval for the population mean using t distribution. All right. So, uh, when do we use the t distribution? We use it when the population standard deviation is unknown and the sample size is less than 30. Okay? All right, let's have an example here a group of 10 foot surgery patients had a mean weight of 240 pounds the sample standard deviation is 25 pounds calculate a 95 percent confidence interval for the true mean weight of all foot surgery patients okay step number one is to find the sample mean okay so it says here that the sample has a mean weight of 240 pounds okay so that's x bar equals 240 pounds okay step number two is to compute or find the degrees of freedom okay so degrees of freedom and the formula for degrees of freedom is df equals n minus 1 okay so in this case our n is 10 so that's just going to be 10 minus 1 equals 9 so our degrees of freedom here is 9. So uh, step number 3 is to find the level of significance. Okay, The significance level, we denote that as alpha. Alpha is 1 minus the confidence level. So in this case, our confidence level is 95% or 0 0.95. So our alpha is 0 0.05. All right, step four is to find the standard error. All right, so standard error SE is equal to um, the standard deviation divided by the square root of n so the standard deviation here is 25 pounds so that's 25 over the square root of n here our n is 10 so let's write that and that is approximately 7 0.9057 step number five is to find the t score for a 95 percent confidence interval okay how do we find the t score we need the degrees of freedom and the significance level okay and also the t table we can find the significance level at the top so it's here and for the degrees of freedom it's here and then we can try to see the intersection of the uh, significance level and the degrees of freedom we see there that's 2.262 and that is our t score so remember that t score is 2.262 all right so t score is 2.262 step number six we are now ready to compute the confidence interval so the formula for that will be 
x bar plus or minus t times the standard error okay x bar is 240 plus or minus t score is 2.262 times our standard error of 7.9057 that will give us 240 plus or minus 17.8827 and if we write that in interval notation that is 222.1177 so basically that's 240 minus 17.8827 and 240 plus 17.8827 gives us 257.8827 and that is the 95% confidence interval for the true mean weight of all foot sur surgery patients we can then say that we are 95 percent confident that the mean weight of all foot surgery patients is between 222.12 pounds to 257.88 pounds let's have another example shala the barangay health worker in san roque would like to estimate the mean length u mu of babies at birth to do this, she randomly took the records of a sample of 25 newly born babies. The sample mean was found to be 38.6 cm and the standard deviation was 4.57 cm. Construct a 90% confidence interval for the mean length of babies at birth. Okay, so first let's find the mean. So it says the mean is 38.6 so let's write that here the degrees of freedom is n minus 1 so remember n is 25 so we have 24 degrees of freedom the significance level is 1 minus the confidence level so that will give us 0 0.10 for the standard error we need the standard deviation the standard deviation was 4.57 and we divide it by the square root of n n is 25 so that's square root of 25 0 0.914 so for the t score we need the t score for 90 percent so let's change that to 90 so the t score for 90 percent is let's look at the table we can find the significance level up top and the degrees of freedom from the left so and then we just look at the intersection so that will give us 1.711 so that's 1.711 we are now ready to compute the confidence interval let's do that so x bar is 38.6 plus or minus 1.711 times the standard error of 0 0.914 that is equal to 38.6 plus or minus 1.5638 5 Four. and in interval notation we can write that as so 38.6 minus 1.56354 that will give us 37.036 and then 38.6 plus 1.56354 is 40.164 and that is our 90% confidence interval.
So now we say that we are 90% confident that the mean length of babies at birth in San Roque is between 37.036 centimeters to 40.164 centimeters.